This one's not maxed yet, so let's use one on... Oh! What's up guys, Aeronius here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and in this video I'm going to be trying my absolute best to beat one of the missions that's going to be the hardest, maybe top three hardest missions to complete for a free to play player, and that is, get 30 max substat upgrades using rank 5 or higher glyphs. This might be sort of a meme of a video, honestly, because it's literally just going to be about me probably losing my crap over this. It's just a matter of how many times do I get red for trying to max a 5 star glyph and honestly it's ridiculous. I've, I've probably done at least 200 so far and it's just a waste of resources. It's the biggest waste of resources and um, honestly it's been driving me crazy been driving me crazy. By the way, quick shout out to Lana Tharil, who I don't even have fully mastered, and I don't even have fully booked, and he's an absolute monster in Hydra. I knew he was going to be a beast in Hydra, just to showcase to you guys that he actually is a fantastic champion, and that people think he's terrible, even though he is good. Uh, yeah, 29 million for a normal Hydra. I did do a video recently with Lana Tharil, with this exact same team, by the way, could have gotten more than 20 million, but I kamikaze them and killed them at 20 million. But look at this, 29 million damage, Lana Tharil is the MVP, he places those shields when you have one of your champions dead, which means that Arbiter is there to pick them back up right after he places those unremovable shields. Uh, he's just a fantastic champion, I love this guy, I knew he was going to be good for my account, he boosted my normal damage tenfold by over 14 million damage. So now. I can almost, I'm pretty much taking out a quarter of the normal Hydra boss's health just by myself essentially. So yeah, this guy is the one that did that, you know, he's amazing. So if you have him on your roster and you're free to play or you're a low spender, consider using Lanatharo. So anyways, let me go back to this real quick. We're going to try to upgrade. We've got 1.9 million in silver. We're going to try our best to upgrade some champions here. Of course. A lot of my gear now is six star, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because I don't have a lot of six star glyphs left over. I ended up using them all, and yeah, it's kind of annoying. I guess it is what it is. Let me take a peek. Where are my speed champions? I definitely want to use glyphs on my speed champions, of course. So this one's maxed. This one's not maxed yet, so let's use one on... Oh! Wait a minute! <laughs> That's not supposed to happen like that. That's not, that's, not, that's not supposed to happen like that, but uh, we'll take it. All right, let's try this one. Nope. Yeah, that's, that's what typically happens, okay? That's what typically happens. Wait, how? Is this because I'm making a video that this is happening? It's making me look like a fool. Come on now. Come on now. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Now look how many I have to do. Only six more left. Dude, this is making me look like a fool. This is not what has been happening, okay? I have not... Every time I get on the video and I make a video, all of a sudden everything becomes easy and I just got three max glyphs at five star in literally like five glyphs. What the heck? I mean, it's good. I like that. I like that I'm getting, you know, five star max substat glyphs rolls, but I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. You know what? I also built Tila Gourmet. For those who are interested, I actually like Tila Gourmet now uh, since she got her somewhat semi pseudo buff. Uh, she's still not that great, but I did put her in a counterattack set, the 35% chance to counterattack when hit, and now that she has the increased uh, ability on the A1 where she can steal two buffs, it actually works pretty well against certain bosses, certain dungeons like that, and also halfway decent in arena too, so I like her, I think she's great. Let me see if I can upgrade her at all though. I don't think so, because again, I don't have any 6 star, I do have attack 6 star though, so let me... Let me go to attack based champions. Let me see what we've got going on here. Uh, let me try to upgrade. I guess I want damage on my seer. So, is there attack though? Here's attack. So I definitely want damage on my seer. Okay, there's one. It's 100,000 a pop for these. 
It's crazy. See, this is what I've been. That this is what's been happening. So that's what three or four? Three of them. That's four. All right, seven percent. Okay, there's five. So there's five in a row with nothing. Here's another one. One, thirty-six, of course. Two, three, four, five. This is what typically happens to me. Okay, this is what typically happens. I use six of them, so I just use eleven just for one for a six star glyph just for one max upgrade so honestly um i would suggest just using five stars to try to max out because they're a lot cheaper and uh obviously more efficient here so you're gonna lose less resources with the five star glyphs just saying um so let me try to go to a champion that has five star uh, let's see maybe my master butcher i mean i do need to upgrade him a little bit maybe i could do like some resistance if he has it Accuracy, no resistance. Resistance, here we go. And HP. We want HP, we want resistance. There's one, there's two, there's three. This one might this one might make us lose all of our silver. Five. Six. Okay, six times on that one. I don't have five star resistance, so I can't do that. I don't want to use that speed on him, unfortunately got crit rate we've got resistance resistance HP do I have HP five star I think so there we go one two three okay that only took three which I'm surprised so let's see what else do we got going on now he's at almost 60k HP which is not too bad let's see who else do we got going on here we've got metal shaper metal shaper is supposed to be the fastest on your team mine's at about 262 do I need him to go faster not really but uh, I don't think I can upgrade him though well maybe with the attack glyphs and defense one two I don't think we're gonna get it with we're, we're gonna run out of silver oh god 1.9 million gone I think I've blown at least like 30 million silver at this point, 30 to 40 million silver, uh, and it's just been a nightmare trying to get this artifact mission done. The most annoying mission in the game so far for me as a free-to-play player, end-game free-to-play, and I'm stuck on this stupid mission, artifact mission. Uh, also, I will say I didn't end up pulling my ancient shards. That that. That really did a lot to me, like my heart hurts from not doing Ancient Shards on a 2x event over the weekend. And I did that because of the new Legendary Fusion that's going to be coming up this week. And it is for Uko or Ukko. Um, whenever I think of Ukko, I think of, hey, I'm Yucko the Clown! If you guys know who that is, uh, leave it down in the comments. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so a little reference there for you. But yeah, so I didn't pull my Ancient Shards because of the fact that the fusion is coming up. I'm free to play. I want to make sure I can get this fusion. Yes, I could get Legendary Champions from the 2x. I get it. Wow. I already have plenty of Legendaries on my account from playing for multiple years. And I can beat basically all content with just these Champions that I have. Um, I don't have any big issues. I mean, obviously Doom Tower is going to be the hardest for me still. And I beat the last rotation with Eternal Dragon. I'm working on beating the boss right now for Bommel. I did beat floor 10 for hard, so that wasn't too bad. Maybe I'll showcase in a video pretty soon my Bommel run that I utilize. I end up utilizing Rector Drath. If you guys do have Rector Drath and Geomancer, these are great, great champions to utilize against Bommel as a free-to-play player or a low-spend player, uh, or just a, um, a high-end spender in general. So I think that's the speed run. You kind of speed run with Geomancer. Even though he's decreasing the turn meter and dropping those bombs down on you guys, the, the fact that he's so fast and does more damage with HP burns as compared to bomb champions is pretty sad um, because the bomb champions just aren't consistent and they die too fast. And they really need to make bomb champions that can survive. So if they can make better bomb champions or more bomb champions with better utility to go against Bommel, like they need bomb champions that can place weaken and bombs. So if they can place weaken and bombs, then maybe that's great. Maybe an A1 with weaken and stuff like that, then they'll be way better against Bommel. But at this point, there's not that many 
There are some good legendary bomb champions, but a lot of free-to-play players and low-spend players probably don't have those crazy bomb champions, other than Gaius the Gleeful, which I've used against him, honestly, a lot. And he didn't help me against Bommel because he's negative affinity against the red Bommel boss. So what's the point? He just never lands his bombs. It's super annoying. So even with, you know, 96% crit rate, I will say you want it to be 100%. But even so, like, it just, he just doesn't land enough bombs for me. But um, that's why I don't use him. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Uh, definitely like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave some comments down below, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.